Fun fact, Oklahoma, you're the last state to get tattooing legally. The last one. It was you guys, South Carolina, and Iraq were like the three places in the world it was illegal to get a tattoo. Okay. It may happen just a little bit. So, since this has been less than 10 years, you might be a little short on culture. So, let's give you a tattoo 101, how to get a tattoo. Most of you want to walk in and say, how much a sleeve costs? And that's fine. I mean, we can tell you how much a sleeve costs. It's probably more than you think. But, what you should probably do is come in and look at an artist's portfolio, their previous work. What you're looking for is an artist, not just a tattoo. Talk to an artist whose work that you like, that you would prefer to have on your body forever. There's a chance I've seen all those people in concert. Yeah. Once you've determined that there's an artist that you like, then you show that person your ideas. You should have ideas. This is on you forever. This isn't necessarily like a, hey, what do you feel like doing kind of thing. Unless you really like that person's style and they have lots of things they like to do. So find your artist, give them your ideas. Hopefully they come up with something cool for you. You know, you want to, de you want to make an appointment? Definitely make an appointment. Leave a deposit. Most of the time the deposit goes towards your tattoo. So, once you've left your deposit, that guarantees your spot. Come in, make sure you've eaten, make sure you're hydrated. This is going to be stressful. You're going to put your body through some stuff. I mean, unless it's the size of a quarter. But if you're getting something serious like this here, you should probably make sure that your body's prepared for it. It's going to be just like exercising or going through anything else. Except you're sitting still. You'll sweat just as much as a workout sitting still if you get a tattoo in the right place, too. You want proof God has a sense of humor? The duck-billed platypus. It's a marsup. It's a mammal. The males are poisonous. It has a duck's bill, webbed feet, the tail of a beaver, and the females lay eggs. They have everything. It's even better joke than like the God making snakes things. The duck-billed platypus is proof that God has a sense of humor. That and the Cubs finally winning the World Series. There isn't any more proof God has a sense of humor. There it is.